And welcome back. So here's section 4.6. Uh, we are going to be taking everything that we've been looking at in the last chapter uh, and combining it to get uh, or to actually start to uh, sketch some curves. Um, so we're doing this without Desmos or graphing calculator or anything else. Uh, so just good old fashioned sketching by hand. Okay. Um, so before we get into any of that, we're just going to see if we can sketch it based on uh, given information. So for example, one, uh, we know that the function is increasing uh, uh, from negative infinity to zero and then decreasing from zero to infinity. So it's going up and then it's going to come back down. Uh, and there are a couple things you can draw, but the other key thing to note in this is that there is a relative max. So that means it's def the function is defined when x is zero, so there's no vertical asymptote, uh, and it's concave down for the entire time. So if it's concave down the entire time, and it's switching from increasing to decreasing, and there's no vertical asymptote in there, that gives us a pretty good parabola. Because if it just said increasing and decreasing, if it just said that stuff, you could have potentially drawn something like that. But that doesn't go along with having a relative max, because there isn't one. Uh, and it's not even concave down, so it's definitely not this. Okay, so not, not too hard. Uh, so now let's increase the difficulty. So increasing up to negative 3. Then it switches to decreasing, and then it switches back around to increasing again. And when it switches, you've got a defined relative max and a relative min. So it's going to increase to x equals negative 3, and then it's going to switch and come down. And when it gets to x equals 3, it'll switch again and then increase. So let's just kind of mark in here. So there's our max, there's our min. Uh, and it, we can label them at five and negative five. And for the concave down, it's definitely concave down all the way to x equals zero. And we don't have enough information um, to really lock in that y coordinate and again these are just sketches we're not getting too specific I probably could have hit it right at the origin but I missed but uh, so this is all uh, I'm kind of looking for um, <clears throat> all right okay next one uh, increasing on the left side decreasing on the right side is concave up the entire time so that kind of goes along the lines of what we drew up here where we before I cross it out. So let's see if the rest of it kind of goes along with this. So the function is not defined at zero. The derivative is not defined and the second derivative is not defined either. And there's a horizontal asymptote. So what we drew up here is actually going to work for down here because it's increasing negative infinity to zero and it's concave up and then it's decreasing from zero to infinity and it's still concave up. And we stuck in a vertical asymptote so the function is not defined which means the derivative isn't defined, and the second derivative is not defined there either. Okay, so this last one, horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. So the end behavior is going to start to hug uh, the x-axis in some fashion. Okay, so it's increasing to zero, decreasing from zero to infinity. There's another relative max. 
So the function is defined, there's some no vertical asymptote. And we can't draw the same thing we did before because this one was concave down the entire time and on this graph, it's switching. So it's concave up, then it switches to concave down and then it switches back to concave up. So when it increases, you know, you can increase in two different ways. You can increase like this, or you can increase like that. And your concavity will tell you which of these two it's gonna be. So since it's concave up, that means it has to be going like this. And it's got a horizontal asymptote at zero, so we're gonna hug the y-axis and increase, and it's concave up, and I'm gonna increase it until I get to that relative max. And once it gets to that relative max, then it switches, then it decreases. And then I gotta switch my concavity and kinda hug that uh, x-axis again. So it's like a bell-shaped curve, kind of just like at the top of a hill. All right, so there's your little intro. So the next video, we're actually gonna get, get a function uh, and then we're gonna analyze it. So we're gonna get all this information and then we'll piece it all together and get a graph.